I've decided to make and test a bunch of single oil soaps. I want to evaluate what each oil does on its own. I'm thinking this will be a practical guide for when it comes to formulating blends, when I can see what qualities each individual oil brings to the party. It's something I've been interested in doing for a while and I'm not expecting to see vast differences between most of them, but there's only one way to find out for sure and that's to do it. To keep things consistent for each test I'm going to use 300 grams of oils. The super fat will be the standard 5% and water will be at 20%. The only difference is that I'm going to add a bit of colour to each one so I can keep track of which is which. I'll cut a few bars of each and test them at different time intervals, starting with when they're fresh out of the mould. I'm Rox. Let's crack on. Today I'm making soap with 100% rapeseed oil. Here's the soap calc stats. Rapeseed contains mainly oleic and linoleic acid along with the rarer linolenic acid which is an omega-3 fatty acid that adds to the conditioning qualities of soap. I read something about linolenic acid being a prostaglandin inhibitor that reduces inflammation and I'm going to investigate that more because that really interests me. This time I've got to zone in on the prep a bit, at least this part, because I had a major wow moment when I mixed this royal blue mica with this rapeseed oil. It changed the blue and looked stunning. This effect reminds me of abalone, a kind of mother of pearl that comes from the shell of a type of marine snail. Alas, when I added the lye and started mixing, it turned this mouldy green colour. Ah well, if you use this oil, be prepared for it to change the colour of your mica. It took a good five minutes or so to get this emulsified and to a light trace, at which point I poured it into the mould. 24 hours later and it's set firm. Cutting it was easy and the fresh soap is nice, smooth, silky and opaque. Let's test it. It was slow to start, but did build momentum, producing some decent bubbles, and here they are. It didn't seem to want to work up into a proper creamy lather though, but you know, that might change after it's cured a bit, and we'll find out when I test it the next time. So, that's 100% rapeseed oil soap. Thank you for joining me and watching. Until next time, ta-ta!